Hello everybody, welcome to ChinFat. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to use video transitions. And those are found under our effects tab. If we move over here, click our double arrow. If it's not seen here, you can click this double arrow and pop on effects here. And that brings up this effects window. Uh, we showed you in previous episodes how to do audio effects and video effects, but this one we're going to be concentrating on video transitions. If you arrow this down, it will have in several different folders, it will have several different types of transitions. What these do is they will do a transition between uh, between two video clips that are butt up, butted up against each other here. The most common one, if we arrow down this dissolve one, you'll see this cross dissolve here. And you'll see that this has a little highlight around it right there, which means that is the default transition. And also you have these uh, the three little icons to the side here to show which ones are real-time effects that actually use a video card and use that 32-bit color and YUV color and so forth. But as mentioned, uh, the cross dissolve is, by, is the default transition in Premiere. You can change that. If you find one that you like and you would rather use, you can right-click on that file and say select as default transition. And what that does is it changes your shortcut, which is Control D on a PC and Command D on a Mac. We'll add that transition between the two clips on, on an edit. I'm going to change this back to cross dissolve here and make that the default transition. So if I move over to my timeline, I'm going to hit shift three and jump to my timeline. And we're landed on an edit right here. If you want to land on an edit, the best way to do it is use your arrows up and down. Uh, up jumps to the left, down jumps to the right. I'm going to land right on the edit there, exactly on the edit there. And I'm going to hold down my shortcut control D. And notice it adds a transition here for you. Another way of doing that, kind of the, a little bit more, a little longer way, I'm going to zoom up on this, plus, plus, select that and delete it. Uh, as you can just go over and grab your cross dissolve, just drag it over and drop it onto your clip. And you got to be kind of careful where you position your cross dissolve or your transition when you drop it. If you do it on the left side, you can either die, you can do it on the left side here, you can do it in the middle, or you can do it on the right side. If you do it on the left side here, we drop it right there. What it does is with this video clip, it starts fading this video clip in at this point right here. And right here, at the, by this point, this clip has ended and you will not see any more of that. This clip has been fully dissolved. Let's play through that and take a look. And there we go, and there's our cross dissolve. Once it's been placed, you can grab this and shift it around and change the and change where the dissolve actually starts taking place. If you double click on this dissolve here, it'll open up and it will show you how long this dissolve is. By default, my uh, dissolve is set at one this is set at exactly one second. If this is uh, 30 frames per second, that means it's a 30 frame per. That means it's a 30 frame dissolve. If I'm in a 24p timeline, that means it will be 24 frames. Since you see the cross dissolve has this little icon right there, which is a duplicate of this one right here, these are called the accelerated effects. It means it's using your video card to do the transition. So as we play through this, it does the dissolve, and it does not even have does not have to render. It just does it real time. If you want to change the duration, there's a couple ways of doing that. You can double click on your cross dissolve and you can change the duration here. We're going to say instead of uh, one second, I can delete that and type in two seconds. And now watch it extend. It extended it on both ends and now it is a two second long tr transition. Another way of doing this is just moving to the edge and grabbing the edge and dragging it to the left to make it shorter and to the right to make it longer. Now keep in mind that you can only transit, you can only make this as long as your clip has handles. Like this clip here, I cut it, it has, say, say if it has like 10 more seconds, I could do a cross dissolve up to 10 seconds, depending on if the right clip has 10 seconds to the left as well. If we attempt to put a transition on a clip where you are on the very last frame of its video and it doesn't have any more handles, like right here, we, we move, uh, let me zoom up here and you can see this little teeny triangle. Let me move this out of the way and you'll see this. See that little teeny triangle right there in the top left hand corner, in the top right hand corner? That means that that is the end of this clip. It, it doesn't have any more footage to extend there. And on this one as well, if we extend that back, notice you've got that little triangle right there in the top left hand corner. And that means this is the very beginning frame and it does not have any excess frames. So this will be quite impossible for it to do a dissolve because it needs excess frames from both video clips to do a dissolve. If I do a dissolve here, I'm going to hit control D. It'll tell me insufficient media, the transition will contain repeated frames. If you hit OK with these little lines going through it, that means it basically will take this frame here and freeze frame it over here and it will freeze frame until it reaches this point. And the same on this video, it'll freeze frame going out of it. So you will not see motion. You'll see it freeze. You'll see one of these videos freeze frame. Watch this. And right there, you can see this 
here, nobody is moving that video till it hits the very first frame, and then he's moving, and now the other video from the other clip is freeze framed. So it needs excess clips, to, it needs excess footage to be able to do the dissolve into. So let's take off about about 10 frames on both of these. Now we can pull this edit together here, and now if I land on this, I hit Control D as my transition, and it's a normal transition, but now watch, if I grab this and extend it, it will only let me extend up till it reaches the limits on one of these, on, on, the, on one of these video clips. And that's as long as I can make that transition. There are other types of transitions that you can use. They have a whole bunch in here. You can go through and kind of mess with them and figure figure out what they do. A common one is a wipe. You know this down, you can find a wipe here. I'm just going to drag a standard wipe and drop it onto my clip here. Let's zoom up to this. And now watch it as we play through. You go together. <laughs> it does that left to right transition from here to here. There are other types you can experiment with. Let's grab spiral boxes. Drop that on. This is going to be amazing. This one does not have the accelerated effects button. So notice it brings up red and you have to render it. I'm going to hit enter to render. And now I'm going to put my playhead to the beginning of this and play through it. You go together. <laughs> that is an amazing transition. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's a quick rundown on how to use video transitions inside of Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, please post them. Thank you.